Well, hello, beloveds. Our moment in the Word today is coming from the Gospel of Matthew, the 11th chapter and the 28th verse. And it's a call to those who are weary and burdened. And it reads, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I am so glad that these are Jesus's words, that this is Jesus's invitation, and that he said it's an invitation to all, to everyone, to anyone who is wearied and who is burdened. And that is such a great uh, invitation because all of us get weary and all of us get burdened. But Jesus is speaking in a crowd. He has spoken as he normally did to many crowds. Wherever he went, there were crowds of people and his disciples were there also. And he spoke about many different things, various different things. He, and when he talks about burden, because he mentioned even in this chapter about how, you know, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were burdened down with such religious weight, things that they had to do, rituals and ceremonies and things that they had to do. It was a burden to, to the Jewish person to have to keep up all of these things. And he's saying to, to them as well, to as to any Gentile, he's saying, come. He's closing this chapter out, this kind of a prayer where he has spoken about his relationship to his father and how the Father has uh, revealed all of these things uh, to those who are maybe uh, low in spirit, to those who are maybe not as wise or intellectual as others. He's revealed it to them, but he's hidden it from the wise and the prudent, those who think they have all the answers and all the knowledge and know all things. But he's revealed it unto babes that they can have this privilege through salvation, and you know, while we can pray or people pray when they get in trouble and they ask God to help them, it, here's a better uh, invitation or a better deal from God is saying, listen, when you come to me, when you get saved, when you receive the salvation that I will give you, it encompasses all of this. You have the privilege to not just come every time you fall in trouble or every time you have a burden, but this is to come and cast all of your burdens upon me. I can carry the load, whereas you cannot. And it's, it's such a great invitation because through life, we do get burned down. We don't get away from burdens. You know, sometimes it's just one after another. And it becomes a burden when you have to carry it all the time, when you have to think about it all the time. And when you wake up to it and when you go to sleep on it, it is a burden. And the Lord is saying, you don't have to carry that burden. I have given you an invitation to come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden or who are wearied and who are burdened down. He said, and I'll give you rest. You won't have to deal with it. You'll know that you have the power on your side through me as your Father, as your Lord, and as your Savior. You will know that I can handle the burdens. I can stop you from being weary so that you can have rest, so that you can not be in turmoil or anxious about life and other things. See, that's what the Lord wants to give us. And you know what? We can receive it by faith. And to take this on, to understand that we have our Father, who is the God of glory, the Lord God Almighty, who can handle our problems, who can give us uh, the answer to our problems, who can give us a strategy out of our circumstances, who can do all things. Because you know why? He gives us the Holy Spirit within us. It will abide in us and it will lead us and guide us into all truth and all rightness. Whatever is the right thing to do, it will guide us. But we have to allow it. We have to willingly allow the Holy Spirit to guide us by being obedient, by having faith and trusting in God and walking in His will and in His ways. And that's how you can unload the burdens and have the peace that He desires for us to have. A peace that does go beyond all of our understanding how sometimes the circumstances don't change. Sometimes the conditions don't change. But yet there is an unspeakable peace that He can give us that passes anything that we can possibly understand. So Jesus has given us and He gives this invitation that stands even now this day in 2023 
that we can still come to him and he's inviting the saved, the lost, the weary, the burdened, the unsaved, those who are wrestling with life and the answers to life, who are looking for their purpose, who are looking to know, why am I here? There has to be a greater plan for life than what I see now. And when you come to God and you surrender your life to him, he will show you what the purpose of your life is. Because every life has purpose. Every life is important in the eyes of God. And so uh, this verse that is so prominent and it's so well spoken of and preached on in scripture is a great invitation that we should take advantage of. And I pray that if you are one that has taken advantage of this and you know someone who has it, that you will offer them this scripture because it's Jesus himself speaking and giving an invitation to people who are weary. And today people are weary and they are burdened and they need to have the load lightened. And this is the this is Jesus' answer to man's problems is to come to him and I know it just seems sometimes people take it as superficial but it's not it is a reality and you will never realize that unless you take the steps to come and except you take the steps to know who Jesus is and he'll show you who he is <laughs> and he'll lighten your load and your burdens and give you that rest and that peace that we've all need. So I pray that in this moment in the word that you have taken, that this verse will continue to walk with you and guide you and keep your heart open so that you can continue to have that peace of God that passes all understanding because it's the invitation that is so important. But even more importantly, it's how uh, we respond to the invitation that he has given us. And I pray that you will respond well. And I pray that you will have a blessed day in the Lord. God bless you.